It's time for Saladin's Conquest in Ancestor's Legacy. It's been a while since I have played Ancestor's Legacy, but it's such an enjoyable game. I really wanted to try out the DLC. And this is the DLC right here, Saladin's Conquest. So after the death of Baldwin IV of Jerusalem, all peaceful arrangements ceased to be respected. Saladin managed to gather the largest army he ever commanded and crossed the border to the Kingdom of Jerusalem. On July 2nd, 1187, Saladin gave the order to attack Tiberius. The next move was made by King Guy de Lusignan. Yes. My pronunciation is great as always, yes. Who on the morning of July 3rd, along with his army, set off for revenge? Welcome to this video focusing on Saladin's Conquest Reformers, and if you'd like to check out the DLC, there is a link in the description. Let's begin. The world is always on fire. The tribes of the Holy Lands have been bickering for centuries over spurious statues and false prophets. And all that division only fuels hate and scars the lands of Allah. Only a hundred years ago, the Christians fought against us in their so-called Holy Crusade. Deceived by their leaders and the Vatican, the Crusaders believed their bloodshed and ransacking of our lands to be a holy act. This glorified slaughter of our people, legislated by Satan himself, dressed in papal robes, resulted in the conquest of Jerusalem. The tribes of Allah were in disarray. I was the first to unite them under one banner, to start the only war that mattered. A war in the name of the one true God. The greatest war the Holy Lands had ever seen. I was always told I was special, that I would lead the people of this earth to the light of Allah. <laughs> what a fool I was. I wagered their words over those of gods, falling to my own hubris. Only ten years ago, the leprous boy king, Baldwin IV of Jerusalem, shattered my forces at Montisad. I barely escaped with my life. Yet Allah works in mysterious ways. After the leprous king's death, the kingdom of Jerusalem was in disarray, and I, Salah Hadin, the first of the Ayyubid dynasty, was granted another chance to prove myself. I will purify the sacred lands of my ancestors. At the horns of Hatin, a most sacred battleground, I will face the Christian forces and reconquer the jeweled city of the Holy Lands. Jerusalem will once again know peace in the name of Allah. And there it is. All right, so let's start the game and see exactly where we begin. Father, I'm so bored of traveling. When will we finally reach Sepphoris? Well, we still have some ways to go along this road until we get to the main trade route. I see. May I ride ahead and see if there's anything unexpected waiting us? Well, go if you must, but not too far. Your mother will kill me if anything happens to you. Ooh, problematic. I have a bad feeling that he's probably going to end up dying, isn't he? Check the nearby bushes for safety. All right, well, let's do that. I only have one squad here that I can control at the moment, as far as I'm aware. Yep, that is true. Okay, so we, we check these. Oh, I'm worried about this, you know. I'm super worried because we need to be a bit careful. You know what? I'm actually not going to move him too, too fast because as our father said, not too much ahead because you know if anything happens to this guy we're going to be in trouble in more ways than one it doesn't say that he has to live so that must mean that he might very well end up dying come on you did the right thing tensions in tiberius are getting high it's time for us to get out of here oh i'm sure someone will arrive soon who will be happy to share some supplies with us <laughs> Oh no. I, I must warn the others. Stop! Stop! There are bandits ahead, and they've hidden in the bushes. They will attack us as soon as they see our caravans. By the Prophet, how many are there? I didn't get the exact count, but surely about ten. We're too far from the city to turn back. There is no other way forward. We'll have to sneak up on them and teach them a lesson. Lead the way, my son. 
Their camp is surrounded by bushes. If we use them as cover, we should... We should have a chance to surprise them. Well, I very much hope that we will be able to do so, but as you can see, our squads are not exactly full HP, or technically they don't have many, many units in each of them, so we are going to have to be a bit cautious. And I'm going to try and surround them a little bit here, so we're going to try and charge at them straight off. And I'm going to try and kill the lower levels first, so I'm basically going to go with these three guys over here, and then these guys over here. That seems like a good plan to me. We're hopefully going to be able to reduce their morale so significantly that they they really won't be able to do that much against us. Or at least I hope that will be the case. We are losing... Oh, dear. We're losing a lot of people right now. Oh, that is not good. These bandits know how to fight. These bandits know how to fight like no one's business. Can I tell them to run away, by the way? Uh, yeah, I can tell them to retreat a little bit. Let's tell them to retreat. And then we will tell these guys to attack. Ooh, that was that was kind of harsh, wasn't it? That was kind of harsh. Let's uh, see if we can have a look-see here. And we do have to be a bit careful. Okay, so they're actually coming in again. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, actually, having them charge back in was pretty good because that did decimate their morale a little bit more. Curse it! I left the military to become a merchant to avoid these kinds of situations. Yes, we did it. Let's head back to the caravans. We have to step on the pace. Well, yes, we do have to step on the pace, but uh, unfortunately, uh, our guards have taken significant damage from our little ambush there, which is not very good. And I'm hopeful that we will. Ooh, dude, there's actually a long way to go. It said something about high tensions in the neighborhood. What was he talking about? Don't pretend you haven't heard what people are saying. Apparently, Salah Din gathers his forces near Tel Ashtara, and Jerusalem doesn't remain idle. The Crusader Knights flow from their cities and fortresses, and are setting off to join forces with King Guy de Lusigny. It seems like these thugs were right. It's getting dangerous around here. Who knows? Things may turn violent very soon. Though with the help of Allah, we will be far away when it happens. Now watch your feet, son. The ground is unstable. Ha <laughs> Look, brothers! Reino de Shetty almost right! There are stale infidels wandering this trail! Follow me! Kill the pagans! In the name of God, Deus Falls! Our scouts were right. These are pilgrims of the False God, on their way to Nazareth. Saladin, these are unarmed people. Maybe if you show them mercy. No, Gukbori. There is a fine line between mercy and weakness. I've been merciful many times already. Even as Renal de Chatillon continues to break our truce, my mercy has come to an end. These Christians are responsible for the deaths of our brothers and sisters. Abdullah, you know what to do. We will meet by the dead tree on the plain when you are done. Yes, Saladin! Riders, follow me! It's time for revenge! In the name of Allah! Slaughter! Kill! Well, here we go. It's time to repay those uh, crusaders, well, in kind, I guess. And uh, it's definitely... Yeah, this is definitely not very... Um, well, it's, it's just the times, I suppose. It's just definitely what... Uh, what is happening? Whoa, that damage! What? That is crazy. The amount of damage that the the horses are capable of doing against infantry is just insane. I definitely need to remember that for future reference because that is fantastic. That is really, really good damage. Okay, come on, come on. We gotta kill the last group. Catch up to them. Ah yeah, there we go. Look! Brothers! There are more of them! Get them! Death to the infidels! Alright, let's do this. Uh, I think I can target the last remaining group over here, and then they will... Well, they'll basically go right through them. There we go. Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna actually send one of our troops over and kill that one, while we maybe kill these guys over here. 
Need to make sure that no one survives, of course. Can we kill? Yeah, there we go. Phew, that was a bit close. Okay, so we're going to have to rest a little bit. I don't even know whether we can rest with these guys, but whatever the case, we do need to go to the meeting place now, which is over here. And that's going to be very quick indeed. I, I, You know, I forgot how fast cavalry is in this game. It's really, really fun to play with. Hopefully we'll be able to utilize them in an actual game here. Attacking us was a fatal mistake. Ooh, nice. Look at the look at the arrows. Who was that? We ran into a small local militia unit. Nothing major. So how was it dealing with the matter? Splendid. While we're waiting for Salah Din to arrive, would you mind having a look at the wounds of my riders? Yeah, sure. Ah, we can actually use his relief skill. What is that? Regain some health for nearby squads. Ooh, now that's pretty cool. Okay, so can I do that around here? There we go. Wow, everyone's full HP. That is a powerful ability. Ah, you are here. Good. We did what we had to do. But now, we must focus on what lies ahead of us. As soon as Guy de Lusignor hears we are besieging Tiberius, he will send the army of Jerusalem via Sepphoris. We need to prepare. There are several water sources in the area, which the infidel's army could use. We will destroy them, and the Desert Sun will do the rest. The wells are defended by the Crusaders' garrisons, but this is nothing my riders can't handle. Good. Take care of it. These are all the forces I can spare, so you'll have to make do. I must set off to keep an eye on the march of our main forces. Consider it done, Salah Adin. May the wisdom of the Prophet guide us. Well, and there he goes. Okay, there he goes. So we have command of all of them now, which is actually pretty fantastic. There are a couple of groups of enemies around here. And uh, yes, as you can see, he's already giving us the hint. We're going to be capturing a village pretty early on here. I'm actually going to tell these guys to charge straight on in. And someone's dead already? How did you die? How are you dying already? Uh, uh, you're archers, aren't you? So you should probably kill the enemy archers. That would probably be a good idea. Yes! Oh, the damage. The, the wonderful damage that we're capable of doing right there. And, uh, yeah, I think I think we're pretty good. I think we're pretty good. Basically, all we need to do is just destroy these archers. And then I think there won't be any additional enemies to worry about. And I can actually level up some of our forces here. We're going to go for defensive abilities for the most part, because I would, well, I obviously want to make sure that our people live as much as possible. You know, them living is a very good idea. Okay, so these guys, uh, these guys are kind of dead almost, which is not very good. Okay, so there we go, we've captured it. Now we are going to destroy the well. Gonna try and replenish our forces as well here. Can I replenish these guys? Are they... Ah, they're taking a long time to replenish because obviously they're very, very injured. And maybe I can use our special unit skill to replenish our forces. Maybe once this guy's done. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Why is Salah Adin so sure the infidels will move their lazy asses from their comfortable beds? We have not laid siege to Tiberius without reason. The Count of Tripoli's wife is in the citadel. And the Count has a hearing at the King's table. Saladin is confident that the hot-blooded Christians will take the bait so we can fight them on our own terms. I think we're wasting our time here, riding back and forth in the desert like fools. We should just attack the filthy infidels. Do you question the orders of Sarah Adin? All I am saying is that the Almighty God is never wrong. Alright, so we got some friendly fire going on here as well, so I'm actually going to get my forces out of the way. I just wanted to get a nice charge in there, and then hopefully we can charge back on in once they have done that. That's what we want to do. Yeah, there we go. Nice damage. Unfortunately, we did lose an archer group, which is kind of bad, but, well, there's not much I could have done about that, to be honest. Anyway, let's just take them out. There we go. And we can take out the last remaining archers. Obviously, cavalry is fantastic against archers. And I think...
think that will be fine. So let's actually just move over here, try and attack the well a little bit. There's actually some armor over here, I think, or something over here at least. There we go. Yes, armor. We've got royal armor now, which is fantastic. That's going to make it a lot easier for us to, well, live. There we go. Get that, get that. Okay, fantastic. So that well is almost dead. Righteous cause. There is no stopping Allah's might. Alright, so I'm actually going to use my replenish skill, and then we're just going to continue moving. Because that is going to die very soon. Oh, yeah, we have actually destroyed that. And now we can move over here. So, technically what I could do now is because I have this... Ooh, what's happening here? The enemy is on the move. The infidels are marching as if the devil himself was chasing them. They want to reach Tiberius before dark. Do you have anything to say, Abdullah al Mohammadi? Nothing that is intended for you to hear, Gokbori. Right. Well, uh, do I need to do I need to save this guy or protect him at all? I'm not entirely sure about that. But anyway, we should probably try and get some, uh, well, some things like a, a watchtower, maybe. Yeah, we definitely want to get the iron ore up and running, though. And we should probably get a watchtower around about here. I think would be good. I don't know whether I have enough to actually do that. Yes, it seems like I do. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, so those peasants are going to start doing that, which is pretty awesome. And now, if I can get all these guys involved, that would be nice. There we go. All right, so they are all hotkeyed. I should probably hotkey the archers and the cavalry together, but I kind of want them both attacking the same targets, because even though the archers are probably going to shoot our own forces... Uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe, would that be a good idea? Maybe it's not a good idea. Well, whatever the case, we kind of have to attack from... Mm, we could actually attack from around the side. Yes, that might make sense. So I'm going to select these guys. And we're going to take them down here. We're going to go from the side. And these fellows are going to go in from this side. That sounds like a good plan to me. And these guys are... Ugh, spearmen. Spearmen are so annoying. They certainly are. Okay, so... Let's see. Let's try and shoot these guys, I guess. And... I want to try and charge at the enemy archers, if at all possible. So, we're going to try and... Just flank them a little bit. Can, can I tell my guys to retreat now? Yeah, I can. Let's tell them to retreat over here. Tell our cavalry to go in from the side here. Try and destroy as many of the archers as possible. And then try and focus on the spearmen with our archers. That's what I'd like to do. If I can actually make it work. Is it working? It seems to be working quite well so far. I think. Yep. Seems to be working quite nicely. Can you... Oh, yes. They can actually level up now. So we're going to go for accuracy, I think. Accuracy is pretty decent for us right here. Let's try and kill that. Uh, squad has leveled up. Let's go for defense with our knights and things. And we can replenish our forces once we have actually conquered this village. So it doesn't really matter too much if we lose a whole bunch of troops. And hopefully our guys will do a good job at... Uh, well, look at that. Look at them. They're covered in it. They're absolutely covered in blood at the moment. Ooh, nice. Very good. Very good, sir. You're doing a very good job right there. And now we will destroy that well. And we will also attack the main center here so we can actually capture this and start getting... I don't even know what this is. What, uh, what are we supposed to get here? Wood? I think... Well, yeah, I think we can get wood here. So that's pretty good. And there's one last well to be destroyed. Well left. I can't wait to see the infidels dying of thirst in the rays of the hot sun. Okay, so I do need to restore our forces a little bit. Sent a scouting patrol ahead of their army. We should wipe them out. Calm down. Our task is to get rid of the water sources in this region. We must stay focused. Your cowardice clouds your judgment, Gokbori. If we do not deal with them now. They may return with greater strength. I wonder why your tongue is so dull in the presence of Salah Adin. Hmm, right. So we do need to deal with the Crusader Patrol. I think that is an optional objective. So technically we don't need to do that, but I think it would probably make sense if we actually do 
uh, go over there and do that because personally I kind of don't want them running around in this area even if there is no water to be had. I think we could do it. Wait a minute, they have shield bearers. They have some cavalry which might actually be kind of harsh for us. But yeah, well, let's just have a look-see here. So I don't have enough wood to be able to get a, a watchtower up, which is actually kind of bad. But I guess what we could do is move over here. Yeah, my forces are okay. Let's just upgrade what some of our people with royal armor. We're actually going to move around. Where are they? Okay, they're over here. Hmm. Technically, I could move my archers over there, and then we could move our cavalry this way and let's see if we can kind of bait them a little bit I don't know whether that's really going to work but we'll try it okay I'm going to try and bait the shield bearers a little bit so we can actually focus on killing the enemy archers there we go we're baiting them and charge in okay these guys need to retreat relatively fast there we go Okay, that's good. We've got some good damage on these guys. Hopefully we can actually kill them. And, uh, yes, we have <laughs> we have one hero unit here. There's a good reason for that, because I obviously did not want to have all of my archers die, and the hero units are relatively good at what they do. So, oh, hello there. Speaking of good at what they do, this fellow's taking a huge amount of damage. But thankfully our, our, our archers are now back here, so they can do some good damage to those guys. And I think, we, I think we're good. I think we should be fine. We did a decent tactic. I don't think it was too fantastic, but I think it was good enough. And uh, let's just heal ourselves a little bit here and send our hero units back in. Anyone really need some uh, retreating? Uh, maybe these guys? Uh, I don't know whether it really, whether it's really necessary at the moment. If they have one unit left in a, in a troop, then obviously I'm going to be deciding to to uh, retreat them. Oh, hello. You're, you're very low. You're going to go away. Thank you. Yeah, we're actually suffering quite a few casualties right here. I'm not a big fan of that. Oh, hello. You're, you're going to die soon. This guy's going to die soon as well. Maybe we should just retreat everyone, actually. Seems like these guys can level up as well. Let's get accuracy once again. Uh, maybe they can now deal with these fellows. Oh, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Okay, so let's go over here. This is problematic. This is very problematic. Let's try and refresh our, our forces. We only have a small amount left. And they're actually giving up. They may have thought twice about dealing with us here. Which would be fantastic. But I don't think that's the case, really. This is going to be off cooldown relatively soon. And I would like to then... Mm, I'd like to pick these guys off at all, if at all possible, but uh, that's not going to happen that easily. Mm, I'm gonna see if it's off cooldown. Still not off cooldown yet. Almost. Wonder whether I can skirmish. It doesn't seem like I can skirmish with these guys, which is kind of unfortunate. And there we go. Okay, so we've just healed. Wait, let's go. Let's go. We just need to take our whole forces and just attack from behind basically just attack from behind try and get them unawares and then just deal with the cavalry after that and maybe it would be a better idea to actually attack the cavalry first to catch them unawares but I kinda of feel like the shield bearers are gonna be a bit more difficult for us to deal with so these guys are gonna charge in they might not have done that much so I think that's pretty good let's zoom in a little bit here and uh, see how these guys are fighting oh look at that guy he fell oh whoa okay Nice. Okay, fantastic, fantastic. So this guy, yeah, we need to just keep an eye on the cooldown of that. But we can obviously just destroy... Ooh, hello. Okay, okay. No, no, no. Careful, careful. We don't really want to charge in here just yet. Thank you. Okay, so let's, let's bait them a little. Okay, we're not going to get too many kills this way, unfortunately. But we're just going to bait them somewhat. And then we're going to tell our forces to charge in. Wow, that uh, 
That was not that was not particularly good. Let's just say that. That was not particularly good. So I think we probably want to just get away from here. Just restore ourselves once again. Maybe we should try and charge in first from a different angle. That would probably make a little bit more sense. But yeah, I'm not I'm not used to using horse archers, so just bear that in mind. Horse archers are not my favorite unit of all time. Anyone knows from my Mount of Blade series, you know that you know me. I'm not a big fan of the, the horse archers in general. Just not not because they're not effective, but because they are so effective that uh, I'm just not very good with them. Anyway, we're gonna tell our forces to charge in here, but I kind of want to do something a bit different. So what I'm gonna do. Can I actually order them to... Yeah, I can do that. That's nice. Okay, so yeah, what we're going to do is we're just going to tell those guys to kind of run around. And then we're going to shoot them from the side. And then get the other guys to charge in from the other side. So it's kind of just a li little bit of a distraction bait and switch kind of thing. And we'll see whether we can make that work. Th thankfully, they are on horses. If they weren't on horses, this would take way too long. So it's nice that they are. All right, so this is pretty good. Let's see, should we shoot the spearmen? We should probably shoot the spearmen, shouldn't we? Or the cavalry? Uh, we should probably... High range defense. Oh, that's harsh. Hmm. Well, uh, what about the cavalry then? High defense. Well, they all have high defense. That's not very good. Okay, so I guess we'll just shoot at the cavalry and we'll see what we can do with that. But the spearmen are usually very good against cavalry, so that's the main reason why I wanted to eliminate them. But I guess what we'll do is... Yeah, nice! Good damage! Good damage against the cavalry right there. We're going to go charging in right here. Someone actually did level up, which is nice. Let's get some accuracy. And these guys are going to take some pretty significant losses. But it's okay, because we can actually tell them to retreat right now. And then our cavalry should be able to mop up the rest. And then we can get these guys to come back in at another time. Hopefully now. Soon. <laughs> Hopefully soon. And uh, we can actually get some morale back as well. And we can actually watch a couple of our people fighting here too. Which is very, very cool. I, I absolutely love the cinematic camera that Ancestors Legacy has. I personally feel like it's one of the best features because you just get to see the action much, much close, closer than you would normally. And it's just so, well, cinematic. You know, the cinematic version of events is, is just giving you that much more immersive, immersive feeling. And it's just really cool in my opinion. Anyway, there you go. I think that is indeed it. And we do have the opportunity to upgrade some more people. And I think we will be doing that. Just in case. Maybe we're going to get some more enemies in just a second. Whoa, Great. All the wells have been destroyed. The desert is now on our side. We need to send word to Salah Adin. Right. So we do need to send word to him. But uh, at the moment, what I'm going to do is just in case, I think we might very well have a bit of a problem going forward. So I'm actually just going to tell our forces to replenish themselves as much as possible. I really don't have any iron. That is the main problem because obviously if you want to replenish units, you need iron to be able to give them weapons. So yeah, it's not really working too well there. I don't have a huge amount of iron, unfortunately, as you can see. So I can do that. And I think that's basically all I can do. So I think we're pretty happy with that, to be honest. So let's, uh, let's ride over to send word to our liege and we will hopefully be able to send a messenger that will not die horribly along the way. Saladin, we were just about to send a messenger. We have to act fast. The Crusaders have rolled up their camp and are marching towards Tiberius. They will be here any minute. Have you destroyed all the wells? We did not leave a single drop of water for them. There was also an enemy patrol. But we took care of them. Very well. We must be swift. Very soon, God will test the strength of our faith in him. Kukbori, I have brought you the rest of your men. When the enemy arrives, harass them and slow them down with a volley of arrows. Hit and run attacks. Avoid open battle. Crusader armor is thick, but time is on our side. Abdullah, ride with me. I need you to engage the other section of the Christian's army. Now, get to work. 
Let the wisdom of Allah guide us. Right, Saladin. Praise be the Prophet. Oh, we're going to have to prepare ourselves. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so we have to await the army and we have to take strategic positions. Wh which ones? Oh, I see. Up here. Oh, okay, so we should probably split our what forces. Do you know about the enemy's army? What is their marching formation? The Count of Tripoli leads the vanguard. King Guy commands the center, and Balin Diblin follows with the rearguard. They are marching in a column, knights in the middle, surrounded by infantry. We must avoid their knights. They are too dangerous. We only have to tire the Christians and slow them down, not fight the whole army. Let's take positions. Yeah! Time is precious! Ready to like a right, so I don't know whether you saw, but I've just split the uh, s split the army in two, basically, because we have eight squads each, and I'm placing them in each of the strategic locations. Hopefully this is going to be enough for us to do some significant damage. They're coming. It's just their vanguard of poorly armored infantry. Wound as many enemy soldiers as possible! The injured ones will cause chaos, and surely their ranks will crumble! Saracens! They will shoot us down like animals! Shut the fuck up, you goat fucker! We can't reach them yet! Hold formation for fuck's sake! I'm actually kind of surprised that they're, re they're, they're, you know, making it so far, to be honest. But I guess, uh, <laughs> I guess that's just how it is. We can kind of wound them a little bit. Do I have to, uh, do I have to command my forces a little bit? Yeah, maybe that would make sense. Let's actually do that and uh, just finish off a couple of the enemies because we do have the high ground. We have the high, I have the high ground, Anakin, and so on. So it would probably make sense for us to just do a little bit of extra damage there. And these guys are going to get absolutely murdered. Yes, easy. And oh dear, we've been spotted. Okay, it is time for me to move. Okay, let's just shoot them. Okay, move, 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 move. Okay, yes, yes. Fantastic. Don't get caught now. Don't get caught. Good. The cowards are fleeing. We have a moment to catch our breath and regroup. The Crusader Knights will be here any moment. They have tougher armor and higher morale than this rabble. Worry not. We won't have to kill them. We will wound as many as possible, and their injuries will slow down the others. We have until dusk. Always ready. Right, so we have to wound them a little bit once again. So we're just going to go right here, and we're just going to get really well prepared for it. I should probably try and use uh, maybe a special ability like Arrow Rain or something like that. A volley of rapid shots. That's pretty good, but it does reduce our accuracy. So maybe not. Okay, so we need to... Oh, we need to wound 220 of them? Okay, that's pretty crazy. I don't know whether we're actually going to be able to do that, but we'll try. Let's do Arrow Rain. Nice. Oh, that's, that's some pretty good damage. That's some pretty good damage. I hope that they're actually going to come closer to this area because it seems like these guys are getting all the action, which is perfectly fine with me, of course, but uh, they do have some archers. As you can see, they're actually firing back at us, so let's try and focus them down, shall we? Might make sense. Damn archers! We must reach Tiberius as soon as possible to break the siege! Pull formation! Stay together! Forward! Right, so they're, they're actually choosing to hold formation with the exception of these guys that are actually charging at our forces, which is not, it's not going to go well. I mean, let's just, let's just say that. You can clearly see it's not going well. But, ah, yes, there you go. So the shield bearers are actually raising their shields now, which we would have expected earlier. But there you go. We're going to try our best with what we've got so far, and... I think they're not really ever going to reach us, to be honest. I don't think they can. Remember, we have to wound as many of their troops as possible. We don't need to kill all of them. Keep attacking the groups that are still fresh. Quickly! Right, so I really should hotkey these guys differently. So that's what I'm. That's what I'm going to do now. So I have group two and group one, 
and we're gonna just try and wound them as much as possible oh yes uh, that's a bit of an issue isn't it yes yeah, so these guys are actually wounding my people pretty heavily here that was bad that was really really bad I'm gonna have to tell these guys to retreat actually and these fellows well uh, they're actually not not doing too badly but they are not wounding people as much as we potentially would want them to and um, my guys are dead my other guys are dead so uh, are, are they oh no they didn't they're actually alive back here okay that's fantastic okay come on come on yep let's heal there we go okay so we healed them let's shoot them from the side these guys can actually run away a little bit here and uh, let's try and get him to retreat fantastic fantastic okay so let's continue shooting at them just skirmish that's all we need to do just skirmish literally easy you know it's easy to skirmish as horse archers or it should be Whole formation, you morons! You think you can catch a mounted rider on foot? Stick together! Continue the march! Okay, well, oh, nice, nice. Okay, we're actually getting them to break formation, which is kind of, well, good and bad. <laughs> it's good and bad, I don't know. I guess we'll just try and uh, get them to come over here, try and shoot them a little bit. Okay, let's get them to retreat as well. This guy is currently having some problems. Yeah, th this is this is a difficult mission. This is a difficult mission because we're we're currently having to fight on two different areas. Let's try and kill those uh, kill those spearmen there. And these guys are kind of split up, which is kind of bad. To stand here, those dumb archers are massacring us. Shut your mouth, peasant. We have orders to wait for the rest of the Vanguard forces. They and the rest of the army are also under fire. Gokbori, look! The next section of the Christian forces is approaching. That's good! We should focus our efforts on them! They are still relatively fresh! Okay, we're gonna focus our efforts on those guys. I'm gonna have to... Oh dear, that was kind of bad. Yeah, their cavalry is super harsh. It is really, really harsh to deal with them. And it's definitely something I don't think I can even do, so... We're going to have to tell these guys to retreat. We're going to have to take them back to the village and get them replenished. There we go. Get all these guys replenished because I have a huge amount of iron iron now. So I can basically do that without any cost whatsoever. And we're going to just have to keep these guys doing some damage to the opponent. And now they're flanked. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we have 169 out of 220. That is not good enough. That is not good enough at all. We are going to have to do much better. So let's get these guys over here. Can you can you just listen to me? Ah, there we go. Okay, let's get them there. Fantastic. Get them done as well. Because there's so many. Look at this. There are so many of them that we can literally just go there in a group. And we will have a pretty easy time of things, I think. So let's get this guy to come over here and actually heal our forces up. And then we will go for one last attempt to do massive amounts of damage so let's heal ourselves there we go everyone's ready let's do this we're gonna go and we're gonna do massive amounts of skirmishing right here massive amounts of skirmishing so i am first off going to shoot this cavalry unit i'd like to try and kill them as quickly as possible yeah there we go now kill the kill the shield bearers if at all possible Let's tell these guys to run away before they get uh, before they get engaged upon. Because in this game, you can't actually move units away that have been engaged upon unless you retreat them. So you do need to be a bit active when it comes to you know being being aware of what's happening. So here's the skirmish. This is what we're going to do. We have two hours remaining until nightfall. I'm going to need to do much more damage. There is no fucking way we'll reach Tiberius before dark. Okay, so we have some more cavalry coming in here. Hopefully we can actually tell our forces to run. Ah, they did get them a little bit. But that's okay. That's alright. We can kill these spearmen at least. And then we can kill... Maybe we can kill the shield bearers as well. 
Well, well, we'll just injure them a little bit, and then we can just tell our forces just to basically retreat. This is just hit and run, you know, hit and run. That is all we need to do. And now my leader can actually heal everyone, or should be able to. There we go. Okay, so now we can go back and we can just do some damage to these to these spearmen. I think I, I think that will probably be it. This isn't good. The sun is going down. We must hurry up. Yeah, I know. I know. I know we must hurry up. So let's just try and kill these guys. I mean, I know we don't have to kill them, but I need to wound them as much as possible. Let's try and kill the enemy archers as well. Yep, one more. Done. Phew. That was close. New orders from the king. We must set up camp here where we stand. We shall continue the march tomorrow. Ha. Allah is great. It was an exhausting day for the Crusaders. Now, we will make sure they will find neither peace nor rest during their sleep. I brought some rested horsemen with me. We won't let the Christians forget about our presence all night. The infidels won't sleep tonight, Saladin. I'll see to it for the glory of Allah. Ah, good. Gukbori, you'll take command of our left wing. When the time comes, you'll cut off the escape route for the Christians. Let us proceed. Right, so we're going to have to do this and uh, set the Crusader tents on fire. So, how am I going to do that? I guess we're going to have to do this kind of sneaky. We have to burn ten tents. Hey, riders, help! The Crusaders are attacking our forces! It's our patrol! Follow me, riders! We have to help them! Alright, let's do it. Yeah, we got to go. we got to go and help them. Let's get over there as quickly as possible. Thankfully, they seem to be relatively tough to kill, so that's fantastic. That means that our forces are not going to die that easily. And uh, thankfully, we avoided that patrol over there, because otherwise we would have had some issues. Yeah, there we go. Charge that guy right in there. The enemy's cavalry! This wasn't the plan! No one was supposed to see us! I think that is basically it, with the exception of the archers and the last remaining little shield bearer right there. There we go. Let's charge the last remaining little bit of the archers. There we go. Thank you for saving us, Abdullah al Muhammadi. I didn't recognize you right away. Please, forgive me. Worry not, brother. What are you doing here? After a day of walking in the heat, the spirits of the Christians are weak. Many of their soldiers cannot stand it and are fleeing under the cover of night. They are trying to sneak through these three paths and vanish into the ravines. We have orders to stop them. A great idea. I'll take command of your units, and together we'll make sure that no scabby coward gets out of here alive. Yes, General. We can light up the campfire so it's easier for us to spot them. Right, so we have to not let any deserters escape. I feel like that's going to be kind of tricky, but we do have now traps available. So that is really good. And we're going to light the fireplace here. Can we can we light the fireplace? How do we do that? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, whatever the case, I do have traps that are available here, and I'd like to use spike pit traps, so it might make sense. Oh, there we go. There's there's lighting the, lighting the fires. Okay. So let's take a take some squad over here, light that one, and light this one here as well. And we're gonna put some. We're definitely gonna put some traps. I feel like traps are super super powerful, so hopefully we can do that. There we go. 
All right, fantastic. So now I'm just gonna go around here and then a spike pit trap would be pretty nice. here as well we only have nine of them do bear that in mind so we do have to be a bit careful we have to not let any deserter escape so that's that's pretty harsh that's a pretty harsh objective but i think we can do it as long as we can build our traps that's all that we really need to do i'm surprised that the enemy has not found our village to be honest Okay, there we go. So we'll put uh, three in every every area here, I think. So another one will go around about here. And we'll place another one here as well. And we can probably place one here. I'm not a big fan of the muddy pit traps. Although they can't escape and their stats are also temporarily lowered. It's pretty good, but the spike pit trap basically eliminates almost half of the... Uh, half of the enemy's forces, which is pretty good in that particular unit, so I think that's kind of nice. Anyway, mm, don't let any escape. Okay, well, I have to be very, very careful then. Okay, so we can do another trap around here, I think, because I don't have many traps around this area, and there are three left, so I think we should build another trap here and probably another trap here. Don't let them escape. Kill them where they stand. Right, so I have my cavalry, and these guys, look at that, they've already taken significant damage, absolutely huge damage from that. Wow, they are taking so much damage from this. And let's, let's go, let's charge them. There we go, they're flanked like no one's business. Let's tell our guys to charge that, tell our cavalry to charge those spearmen, and then we will build another trap here. You praise a false god! And betray your comrades in arms. You don't deserve to live. Okay, so we can light another fireplace over here as well. We need to make sure that none escape. If any escape, we are basically a failure. And uh, it would not be a good idea. So let me just light this fireplace here as well. I do have more traps, as you can see. There are a number of more, a number of traps still, uh, still active, basically. And these guys are going to do a fine job. All right. That's the last of them. It should be calm. At least for now. We are resting here. Right, so it should be calm, apparently. Which is what they said. And it says, don't let any deserter escape. So I still need to do that while I am burning the tents. I suppose what, what I can do then is just take my cavalry. Actually, these guys are not meant to be part of this group. There we go. Okay, so yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to place a spear group in every single little location here. Okay, so these guys, I, I kind of don't want to tell the enemy where we are, so I don't really want to get them to see us, if at all possible. So I'm going to try, let's burn, burn a tent here. Can I burn it without them knowing? No, but I can run. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm being a sneaky, sneaky, sneaky guy right here. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's pretty good. So we burned burned one tent. Ah, how wonderful. Did a good job. Fantastic. Alright, so let's just continue, because now we know where the enemies are, as you can see. And we know that they can't really see us. So let's just charge these guys, try and take them out. They are spearmen, unfortunately, so it might be problematic, to say the least. But who knows? Maybe we'll do okay. And uh, we should probably just restore morale a little bit here as well. Shall I tell my guys to retreat, actually? Maybe I should tell them to retreat a little bit because they're taking a lot of damage. Wow. That was that was harsh. I thought I, I could take them unawares, you know? I thought I could take them unawares. That might that might be pretty good, but apparently not. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna try and run from tent to tent. And see if I can burn it. Okay, come on now. There we go. There's another one done. We need to run away. 
Yeah, there we go. We actually escaped before they even saw where we were, so that's pretty nice. And we can hopefully set some more tents on fire. Unfortunately, they, they actually know where we are, so that's not great. They know where we are as soon as we start setting a tent on fire. More deserters scum. You know what to do with them, brothers. Okay, let's run along here if at all possible. And as you can see, we've got some more deserters coming in. So I'm going to need to multitask a little bit with that. But I think it should be fine. There's two groups coming over here. As you can see, the trap is just absolutely murdering them in all ways. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to send these cavalry to face them. Tell these guys to charge in. There we go. These guys can handle them. And there we go. We will just charge in from behind. Just try and remove their morale as much as possible. These guys could use a, an upgrade, so let's give them some offense. And they're all dead. Okay, fantastic. And I think these guys are going to be absolutely fine. Are they? Do they need some help? They might need some help, actually. So I think I'm going to... Should I take my spearman over there? Ooh, taking my spearman over there is pretty risky because then this, this area is not going to be defended at all. But I guess it's all right. Okay, some more tents. Let's do, let's do these ones. They are setting fire to our tents. Get them! They are not Muslims. They are messengers of Lucifer himself. Strengthen the patrols. We have to protect the camp. But sir, the men are tired after marching all day in the heat. I don't care. Tomorrow we will continue our march to glory and victory. We got them. I don't see any others. At least for now. Alright, I'm just trying to get more of these tents on fire, but it's kind of difficult to do that when these patrols are very aggressive. They're starting to be much more active in what they're attempting to do here. So, we're just going to run away and just try and attack from a different angle at that point. Because we only need four more tents, and I think we should be pretty good. Oh, hello. Yeah, these, these spearmen know where we are now, which is not very good. So I'm going to tell my forces to retreat once again. Ah, oh, it's difficult. It's very, very difficult to get into a place where they don't see the tent. Initially, at least. Uh, they're moving over that way, so that's not very good. to those guys. Thank you. Enemies coming. Faster. Kills this Arabian scum. Come on. Bomber! You are injured. Please let me take a look. Okay, we're just going to restore ourselves a little bit here. We do have some other things to do. There we go. And we're going to try and restore our forces just a little bit. And we do actually have additional traps available as well. So if we wanted to, we could put some more traps out. Maybe we will do that after our forces are a little bit more healed. They are healing right now. Uh, oh yes, I actually forgot to do something. These guys need to come over here because otherwise we are going to be absolutely defenseless in having deserters stopped, which is not going to be good at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait until these guys have left. Oh, it seems like they have a kind of annoying rotation now. And we're going to set up another trap maybe around here. And another trap around about here, I think. They think we won't see them. 
They won't trick us that easily. There we go. All right. So yeah. Now, obviously, we do have these guys. They're very, they're very, very hurt. So this is great. Forces are taking quite a bit of damage right here. This is not good. Okay, so we're gonna have to tell my other spearmen to go this way. They died on that trap, which is great, but we are going to need to restore these guys and uh, get them back to full HP to replenish them a little bit. And now we only need to burn one tent. It's taking a bit of time, I gotta say. Taking a bit of time, but that's just how it is when you're trying to be as sneaky as possible. Let's try and get this tent burnt and. We are going to have to charge at these spearmen over here. And we will replenish ourselves a little bit there. Oh, seems like it seems like they're retreating. Seems like they're retreating, so that's fantastic. Let's tell these guys to run away. Brothers, you did well. We will withdraw the rest of our forces. Let them roll up their cap and take a walk in the burning sun once more. We run! Enemy All right, so we can just tell our forces to escape to the withdrawal point, and we do have some people that are pretty injured. These guys are pretty injured, but that's okay. They can just rest up, and then they'll be full HP once again. And there it is. This will all be over soon. The Crusaders are marching for the second day in a row without any water or protection from the sun. Their injured troops burden them and weaken their morale. <laughs> they are exhausted and at death's doorstep. Brothers, Allah gave us this day of victory as a reward for our prayers. Today, we will break the Christian forces. Follow me. Let us show them the wrath we have carried in our hearts for almost a hundred years. Today, we begin the march to retake Jerusalem! Alright, so I've got all my forces here and I am prepared to use them. So let's do this. Alright, so, wow, they're, they're, oh my, yeah, they are super, super, well, <laughs> damaged. They're all super damaged. And uh, we're not going to have a very difficult time here at all. So I guess we will just charge at them straight up. Can I use these guys as well? No, I can't use those guys. They're just used as kind of like reinforcements for us by the looks of things. So that's pretty good. And uh, what does this guy have? Inspire courage. Inspires nearby units to fight better. Ooh, sounds good to me. Sounds very, very good to me. All right, so we do have some archers firing at us from over there, which is not very good. But as you can see, all of my forces are in absolutely fantastic spirits. They are not taking that much damage at all, if any. And what is this? Add XP and make nearby unit... Oh, nearby squad's weaker for a while. Oh, that's pretty good. Actually, wait a minute. Is it? Nearby enemy squads? Hmm. No, that's not, that's not nearby enemy squads. That is nearby allied squads by the looks of things, I think. But that's okay. That's fine. As long as it adds a little bit of experience, I think that's fine. Anyway, as you can see, we're absolutely murdering them. Unfortunately, they do have those crossbowmen firing at us, but hopefully they're going to be hitting most of their units instead because of the way we've positioned ourselves here. And uh, I do have my cavalry completely free, so I'm actually going to tell them to charge at the archers, and uh, it seems like Salah Adin is also kind of free, so we're going to tell him to charge in as well against these archers. Seems like most of the cavalry are actually free to do what they want, which is kind of amazing. Ah, that's good. Let them flee. We should help our forces at the ravine. Right. Oh, victory. Let's go. Watch out. Get ready. Those are knights. The heavy cavalry of 
the Crusaders. All right. Well, th this is going to be a bit problematic. I maybe. Is it? Is it going to be problematic? I'm actually unsure about that. Let's give uh, Salah Adin a little bit more defense. Let's inspire ourselves and let's actually get him to run because he's taken significant damage right there. These Crusaders are extremely, extremely good at what they do. And they're very high level too, amazingly enough. Okay, so where is he? He's over here, so he can hopefully restore himself. Can he, can he actually heal? Maybe? Yeah, he, he's healing when he's close by to this area, which is pretty nice. And they're now running. Excellent! Their lines have been broken. The Christian army is in disarray. Now it's our chance! Move on! Forward! Fight! Get them all! In the name of God, victory will be ours! And there it is, the Crusader forces were crushed, and that is chapter one. What a significant chapter it is, and if you'd like to check out the game, if you'd like to check out the DLC, should I say, there is a link in the description. Otherwise, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.